Hello everyone and welcome back to White Run Racing. Today you'll see the fourth video dedicated to tuning a race engine for Vespa Small Frame Formula Endurance. Today we'll see how to measure and fix the squish high. Uh, how to measure the geometrical, geometrical compression ratio and I'll, also I'll show you uh, a work I made on the flow guide I didn't introduce in the video dedicated to the read valve pack so here's our flow guide the only operation we did on it was to lower the divider by giving it an arc shape so the spacer on this side would be counterbalanced in the point where the cusp widens since the squish could be high, I proceeded to roll up some um, tin. This way I could increase the diameter. So, we are finally ready to mount our head. Here we go. Let's measure it. I hope you can see it well enough. It's 2.2 millimeters. Let's move to the left and lower the head by 1.2 millimeters so we can get to a 1 millimeter squish which is the one we need okay we're ready to start our work i already mounted the head with the proper tool provided by pinasco which is the length we need to work on the head the preliminary work i've already done was to lathe the squish band with the same inclination but bigger by one millimeter so that when we lower the support we'll find exactly the exact dia diameter relative to the new position we made on the lathe. I did this uh, because the tine that was present on the head measured 1.2 which is the size we needed to remove in order to get one millimeter of squish let's begin Our head is ready. Going back to the engine, the first thing we do is checking the top dead point and blocking the flywheel so that the piston will remain exactly in this position allowing us to measure the compression ratio. So I'm turning it while holding the engine and the flywheel and raise the piston until it reaches and until it reaches the highest point okay this is it 
a little further back. We blocked the flywheel. Let's take the comparator away. After identifying the top dead point, let's verify that the cylinder is in vertical position so that we can get a reliable measure regarding the combustion chamber's capacity. I'll do it using a level on both ways. I hope you can see it. This is centered, and this other one too. We can take our measurements. Let's mount the head. We're ready. The tool we'll use is this one, a graduated burette. Perfect, we've set it at 25cc. Let's begin. Let's use a light to see when we've reached the point. Okay, read there. Let's read. We consumed uh, exactly nine. Perfect, so the combustion chamber has a capacity of 9 cubic centimeters with a 1 mm squish. Let's now calculate the compression ratio. The cylinder volume is 132.33 cc, the combustion chamber is 9 cc. The resulting compression ratio is 15.7 to 1, which is too high for this type of engine. Let's get back to the lathe and modify the combustion chamber. We'll enlarge the dome on the head, trying, now to, trying not to reduce the squish band, so we'll work on the inside towards the sides. Good. Now let's get some uh, sandpaper and polish. Much better. Now a finishing touch with this smaller one. Perfect. Last bit of polishing will be done by hand. Okay, we can stop here.
All right, so here's the result. A toroidal shape. We mounted back our head, so let's proceed with the measurements. This time, the graduated burette will start from 9, which is the point where we stopped before. Let's open it. Let's get some light and verify the level. We're exactly at 19. It means that removed, we removed just one cubic centimeter. The new compression ratio after operation on a combustion chamber will result to 14.7 to 1, since the cylinder volume is still 132.43, while the combustion chamber's volume will get from 9 to 10. It's still too high, so we need to get back to the lathe once more. Let's proceed with the sandpaper. Let's polish by hand. I'd say we can stop here and measure once again. And this is the result. Now the head is much more similar to a sport two-stroke engine, still with a toroidal dome but with different proportions between dome and band. We mounted back our head, we're ready to begin once more our measurements. Let's take our graduated breath and start to measure again. Our new measurements tell us that the, comb the combustion chamber has a capacity of 12 cubic centimeters, so let's calculate once more the compression ratio. The final geometric compression ratio will be 12 to 1, fit for a type of engine, for this type of engine and the use we'll make of it. That's all for today, goodbye everyone and see you on the next video. If you liked this video, leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Remember, white one racing is not a workshop, but an amateur sport association that works on engines only for sport purposes and only for its associates.